Season of the Risen. You fought well in the Mindscape, Guardian. Keitel's most trusted scion is searching this Hive Lieutenant's mind as we speak. Each Hive holds a piece of the puzzle. The more we capture, the more intel we gain. If we discover their plans, we can bring their entire operation down upon them. They thought it would be easy. Take the light and watch us crumble. Now the Lucent Hive are coming face to face with Guardians, true warriors of the light. And they're afraid. We'll find what secrets they're hiding, and when they gather for their next ritual, you'll be there. With the full strength of the light behind you. Guardian. My scions have intercepted a series of psychic broadcasts. They're coming from a decommissioned Cabal bunker on Mars. The messages are perceptible only to those with psionic abilities. They paint my rule and our coalition as treachery. They openly encourage mutiny and coax the defectors toward the Black Fleet. Commander Zavala and I agree that these recruitment efforts must be stopped. But... I should not be seen using my forces to suppress Scion communications. So you will be the executor of my fury. Go to Mars and eradicate this cowardly rebellion. It's weird that they give you the kill the messenger exotic quest before you're even at the right level for it. Man, the hive just keep appearing out of nowhere, don't they? Now, seriously, as soon as you kill one wave, the other wave starts showing up. You know, it's funny that the server chair was just literally staying there. Standing? I wouldn't say standing because it doesn't have legs. It just hovers there for no reason. I didn't even see that I was on top of the machine. And of course, a Hive Guardian shows up and gets obliterated. Even with light of their own, the Hive still try to steal ours. They've been hungry for so long, they don't know how else to be. Those receptacles are filled with stolen light. They're using it as a power source. Avenge your comrades, Guardian. You know, they should have more missions to do with the uh, Cosmodrones. Yeah, I mean, I know mostly the Cosmodrones, you know, part of the Destiny story has been finished since Destiny 1, but it'd be nice to come back once in a while and not treat it like it never existed, because it was a fun open area. Target is near. Weaken their bodies and my scions will keep their minds alive. What were they doing with that light? Refining it, maybe? Preparing it? Preparing it for what? Let's hope this lieutenant knows the answer. The light cleanser. Huh. Oh. 
This is a neutral space, right? Like a temporary pocket dimension. It contains the minds of the Guardian and the Hive we subdued, and the influence of the Witch Queen. It's funny that these loosened hive, the hive guardians here, are just more difficult to deal with than you know the ones we deal with. You know, if the Savage Queen had more like these guys, then it would have been a lot more difficult, you know. I will alert my operative at your helm. Understood. What is that tone of malaise in your voice? This was a good day. The Cosmodrome used to be a seat of power during the Golden Age. Now it's a graveyard. One that has yielded many great warriors. Too many that are no longer with us. Hurts. Hurts. I could feel Savathun behind my eyes when she reached into my mind. What do you think these high feel when we reach into theirs? I also find the Scion's methods unsettling, but they can uncover Savathun's plans more efficiently than I ever could. Better to just put them out of their misery. Keitel believes these Hive might hold deeper secrets. Do not make the mistake of thinking these things deserve your sympathy. Even though they have the light. Maybe you are the wrong person to put on this assignment. They may be our enemies, but this feels like a new low for the Vanguard. For Zavala. Watch your mouth. You knew Light sees Zavala as some toothless diplomat, but you wouldn't believe what he sacrificed to become the man he is. Someone who will make the hard choice, and make sure his people understand why. Then I can't wait to hear the speech about all this. You want a speech? Today the Vanguard did what had to be done. Mercy prevailed. Speech over. Say it a little louder. I don't think this guy could hear you. <sighs> this doesn't look like mercy to me. Then you're not looking hard enough. Long ago, even before there was a last city, I was deep on patrol in the old forest, when a local villager sought me out. They asked me to catch a thief. I told them the Iron Lords were no mercenaries, but I saw their pride as well as their poverty, and they offered me a loaf of black bread instead of coin. I agreed, just before sunrise. I caught my thief. A young girl, stealing what she could carry. Food when she could find it, coin when she couldn't, weapons to protect what she had taken. There was no fear in her eyes. She said the bandits in the forest ordered her to steal in exchange for protection. The penalty for theft in those times was death. Instead, I pulled the crest from around my neck and pressed it into her hands. I told her the wolves would protect her. In a settlement rich with stolen supplies, I found the bandits and cut them down. 38 lives to spare one. And for a time, I believed that was mercy. 
Many winters passed before I found myself back in that part of the old forest. This time, no one sought me out. So I sought them instead. Wind blew through rotted wood and rusted metal where the village once stood. And behind it, graves. Then piled stones, then bare mounds of earth, and then... a pit. My blood was high. I tore through the forest, hunting for those responsible. Finally, in a settlement rich with stolen supplies, I found her. A lightless woman, with my crest around her neck. There was no fear in her eyes. She spoke plainly. When the villagers could no longer tithe, her wolves no longer protected them. She bled them dry, and when they had no more to give, she sent in her men, unleashed her wolves. Mercy to an enemy cannot come at the cost of mercy for their victims. The right path isn't always easy to find. But once you do, the only question is whether you're strong enough to walk it. Consider that the next time you feel pity for our enemies. Friends and advisors within the last city have fallen victim to psychic manipulation. Those losses and the rediscovery of the Crown of Sorrow meant that we had to develop psychic countermeasures. So I authorized the deployment of this containment unit developed by Kaito Scions for psychic analysis of the hive. The machine can hold the hive in a painless limbo, neither alive nor dead. This allows Scion operatives to examine their minds, gleaning the information we need. After everything that happened to Osiris, it makes me uncomfortable to rifle through their brains like this. But Guardian lives are at stake. You will be our boots on the ground, and Lord Saladin will oversee the operation to ensure everything goes smoothly. We'll only have this asset for a limited time, so make it worthwhile. Good luck. I mean, Saladin does have a point. I understand Crow, but yeah. Have you ever met someone as frustrating as Crow? The Lucent Hive are killing Guardians in cold blood, and he wants to know if what we're doing hurts. I didn't want to encourage him, but when Zavala came in here, he asked me the same thing. I don't like to revisit the past, but Crow has got to learn perspective. I doubt he even heard what I said. As for me, I'll crack a hive open because I like the sound it makes. But I'd rather defeat them on the battlefield than in a lab. These demons have taken the light. They're killing guardians. I saw a hive knight wielding a void shield. It's sacrilege. Nothing is more important than stopping them. These are desperate times, guardian. I know it. You know it. And Crow. Let's hope he's a fast learner.